What's going on guys, Tomcat here, and today I am bringing you the first episode of a new series I'm doing in Forza 4 where I am taking a stock car, any car completely stock, and taking it into an online drift match and seeing how I do. It's basically a live online version of the stock drift challenge series I had a while back. So we're just, we are in the BMW E92 M3, and we're going to see how this goes. Amazing sounding V8. Definitely an amazing sounding engine from this Beamer. Gorgeous color as well. Let's go. Let's see what we can do with this thing. I have somebody all over the road up here in this Mustang! And let's get it sideways. Doing pretty well. Get around me, Sylvia. Do not take my points away. Somebody's in a McLaren F1. What are they doing? <laughs> what are they thinking? Oh, get it sideways. Come on, keep the combo. Keep your combo going. Don't you dare hit me. Don't you hit me. If you hit me, I'm going to be very mad. Keeping it so far. You pass. Pass. Thank you. Well, so far, initial impressions are, uh, this thing is very stable. Uh, pass. Go, pass me. Pass me. You want to stay behind me and troll me? No. Pass me. Anyway, um, the E92 M3 is a very stable car, um, very stable car, especially when it's sideways. Um, it likes to be sideways very, very, very much. Um, it's almost like... When it's drifting, it's sort of at home. That's, like, what it does best is drifting. So, I mean, it's definitely a great platform to build off of. And it's also a great platform um, for any beginners that are just getting into drifting. Because, I mean, it's got less than 500 horsepower. So, it's going to be easy to control for anybody that's, you know, um, just getting into drifting. And also, it's, um, even though it has less than 500 horsepower, though, it's very easy to kick the tail end out, as you can see. Um... And if you're not careful, you will spin it, so it will teach you good technique. Uh, it's, and that's something that you really need to learn as a beginner is technique. Because if you don't get technique down in lower horsepower cars, then when you go to drift higher horsepower cars, you're going to be all over the place. Your drifting is going to be sloppy. You're going to be in the walls all the time. It's just not going to be a pretty experience. Um, hopefully this guy does not hit me. I'm trying to stay out of his way. Oh god, yeah, I'm completely off the track. Pass me. Pass me. I'm, pa I'm letting all these guys pass because they have way more horsepower than I do, and they drift a lot faster than I do, so, I mean, if you guys are in a drift lobby, and you know that people are faster than you, let them pass. Seriously, let them pass. I mean, if it means, you know, sacrificing a few points, do it. You know, it it's just a drift lobby. Who cares about points? Really, who cares about points? I mean, I don't do it for points. I do it to drift, and I do it because the drifting is fun. I don't really care about points. So, I mean, stop caring about points so much, and if somebody's faster than you, let them pass. You know, let them pass. Don't block them and um, say, oh, well, they got to go slower. I'm in front of them. No, get over the side. Let them pass. Get over to the side. Oh, keep it. Keep it. Yes. I really like the torque delivery in this car. The way it delivers the torque is very very smooth and very controlled and very easy to manage it's a very easily manageable car and that's why i that's why i like it that's why i've always liked m3s uh in forza i love drifting m3s well not just drifting them but driving them they make just great driving cars i mean if you ever if you ever come on forza you know just to just to drive you know you, you don't really know what you want to do you just want to screw around and kind of drive um, take any of the M3s out, and I promise you, you will enjoy yourself. You know, just don't even, don't even plan to do anything. Just pick a, take an M3, pick a random track, and just drive. And you'll have fun. I promise you'll have fun, because the M3 is a fun car to drive. It just is. It's, um, the way it's put together, and the way it feels, just makes it a lot of fun to, to drive, drift, um, basically do everything you want with it. And it doesn't really need a drift tune. Um, to turn this thing into a drift car, all you basically have to do is um, bump the horsepower up a little bit, um, increase the, the rear tire width, um, 
maybe, uh, well, obviously lower the springs a little bit, maybe slightly adjust the tire pressure, and you'll have yourself a legit drift car. You really will. It's that simple with an M3 because the chassis balance is already there. The suspension is already there. It's not like you need to do a complete overhaul on the thing to get it to actually slide well. And speaking of sliding well, that Sylvia behind me didn't. <laughs> he completely spun out. Oh yes, hold it. Oh, that was awesome. That was nice. That was pretty nice. No, 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 Oh, man. Oh, man, that sucked. Whatever, come on. Come on, Beamer, come on. Dropped all the way back to fifth place. Let's see if we can make it back up to third by the end of this lap. I doubt it, but it's definitely something we can try and shoot for. Usually, you can work your way back up the drift, um, you know, uh, drift score better than you, uh, or faster than you think you can. Oh god. I mean, pretty cool 90, but as far as scoring goes, it sucked. Um, you should get multipliers for 90s. If turn 10 is watching right now, I want you guys, I want, I, hey, you at turn 10, I want you to put, uh, bonus multipliers in Forza 5, uh, for drifting when you hit, um, like, say, a times 2 multiplier, for a 90 degree entry and maybe a times four multiplier for a reverse entry and i think i think that would actually add some pretty cool dynamics to the points drifting system it would force you to learn more techniques and it would definitely mix it up and make it a lot more interesting because the only people that would be scoring really really high would be the people that actually know how to do the techniques and not somebody that's kind of just um sliding all over the place you know this is there's a difference between drifting and sliding drifting has elements of of style to it you know drifting is more than just power sliding i mean a drift a drift is something that some it, it's your own you know it, as as a drifter you have your own style you know a power slide is just a power slide but a drift there's a bit of personality in a drift you know there's there's something there's something about you in in every drift that you that you do pretty much. You you entered that corner, if you know what I mean. You entered that corner the way you wanted to. You entered it with your technique. You entered it with the way you entered it the way you wanted it you wanted to enter it basically. So if you guys enjoyed that video, then don't forget to click that like button. Tell me in the comment section below what cars you want me to try to drift stock online in Forza 4. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys later.